Although there haven't been any confirmed deaths from this flu outside Mexico, the virus is spreading quickly around the world. Confirmed or suspected cases have been found in 19 countries. The U.S. has 65 confirmed cases and is intensifying efforts to battle the outbreak. Li Xiang again. New York City has the largest number of swine flu cases in the country. A heavy concentration is at this school in Queens. Some of the students who recently returned from a trip to Mexico are suspected of having contracted the virus. But you have to go on to, you know, doing your work also, so you can't let it consume you. But everybody is, you know, of course concerned. Mayor Michael Bloomberg has tried to reassure New Yorkers. He says the people with confirmed cases are so far showing only mild symptoms. This has been following the pattern of normal seasonal influenza. Nothing worse so far. The state of California has declared a state of emergency over the outbreak, enabling deployment of funds and personnel. And President Barack Obama has asked Congress for an additional one and a half billion dollars. Health officials across the country have stepped up efforts to look for cases, especially among people with flu-like illness who have traveled to Mexico. Lisa, CCTV. The swine flu is now believed to have killed 159 people in Mexico, 77 more than the number that we reported earlier this, in, this morning. Several hundred others suspected of having it are being treated in hospitals. Mexico City has extended its shutdown of public places to include restaurants, which are now only allowed to serve takeout. Li Xiang reports. Supermarkets in Mexico City are full of shoppers stocking up, prompted by fears of a swine flu epidemic. It looks like some people are storing food, as if there were a war coming. But public places, including schools, cinemas and restaurants, are empty. The government expanded the shutdown in a bit to prevent the spread of the disease. That strategy inevitably affects businesses. The sales job is around 90 percent. Only one person has come so far. Officials in the Mexican capital say over 6,600 people crowded city hospitals with flu symptoms on Monday, but only 29 remain hospitalized. Lisa, CCTV. Countries in Asia and elsewhere are taking precautions against an outbreak of this new strain of swine flu. One example is the use of thermal scanners at airports to detect people running a fever. But despite the precautions, suspected cases have been reported in South Korea, Thailand and Australia. Health officials in Israel and New Zealand say they have confirmed cases of swine flu too. Laurie Liu has a story. The South Korean government held an emergency meeting on the swine flu situation on Tuesday. I think the most important thing is to let people in organizations know the current situation so that they can immediately take proper measures in case of an emergency. <laughs> the country's international airport has tightened its inspection of passengers using thermal scans. Two of the three people identified as suspected cases have tested negative. Health authorities are conducting tests on a 51-year-old woman who's displaying symptoms of swine flu upon her return from Mexico. In the first suspected swine flu case in Thailand, a 42-year-old Thai woman returning from Mexico is being quarantined. Thermoscans are being set up at the airport and the Ministry of Public Health is preparing medical services. Israel Tuesday confirmed its two cases of swine flu in two men who recently returned from Mexico. The first case, a 26-year-old patient in the coastal city of Netanya, has recovered. The second case in the central town of Kfar Saba is a 47-year-old man who returned from Mexico on Sunday and checked himself in after feeling ill. He's still under treatment. In New Zealand, the number of swine flu cases rose to 14, with three cases reported early Wednesday. The country has 44 other suspected cases that are still undergoing tests. 
Australia was testing more than a hundred people with flu symptoms, possible swine flu. The new virus has been ruled out in at least ten cases. Lori Liu. China to be on high alert to guard against swine flu, and departments ranging from public health to agriculture are forging a united front to fight against the deadly virus, which has killed over 150. 159 to be specific in Mexico and is spreading around the world. Now Xi Jinping takes a look at the measures that China is taking. The health ministry ordered a round-the-clock working plan at all medical departments for early detection of any suspected cases of the swine flu. It's also called for tighter supervision at kindergartens, schools, colleges, and nursing homes, focusing on the children and the elderly. The Agriculture Ministry and Quality Watchdog have imposed a ban on pork imports from Mexico and the three infected U.S. states. Parcels and luggage are also under tight inspection before entering China. Temperature checks are must for passengers, and people with flu symptoms arriving from the infected regions will be quarantined. And the Ministry of Agriculture says a team of animal disease prevention experts are now studying the development of the virus. The work is to find a vaccine for the swine flu. Meanwhile, commerce and foreign ministries warn Chinese citizens not to work in Mexico in the near term. Better disease preventive measures must be taken when visiting those affected countries. And the Tourism Administration has ordered travel agencies to suspend tour groups to Mexico. Xu Jiaying, CCTV. Well, the World Health Organization says China is fully prepared for swine flu. The WHO's representative in China made the remarks on Tuesday in Beijing. At a news briefing, he says valuable lessons were learned during the, SAR, uh, uh, during the SARS outbreak in 2003. So I would say if it's anything that came out good from influenza is that we have now a better preparedness uh, in China as, rest of, in, as well as in the rest of the world. Now, meanwhile, civil aviation authorities in China have issued an emergency notice ordering all related departments to respond immediately should there be any suspicion of swine flu in passengers entering the country via international flights. The administration says there will be strict disinfection for flights arriving from Mexico and special disposal for waste on those flights. Now, currently, there are no direct flights departing from the Chinese mainland headed for Mexico. But two flights from Mexico City arrive in Shanghai every Monday and Friday. The Civil Aviation Administration of China has ordered officials at Shanghai Pudong Airport to take emergency measures to prevent the spread of this epidemic.